Any ulcers in your stomach, a lot of There's no need to tell Rosalind Burrell that obesity is a growing concern. The suburban Chicago teacher is undergoing gastric bypass surgery, or bariatric surgery, to help her lose weight. Most patients undergoing this surgery will lose 80 to 300 pounds as a result. I, it'll make me, uh, I think, a lot more ambulatory. I've done this for 27 years, but the chairs are getting lower and it's getting harder to move around. <laughs> a successful operation is defined as one that results in the patient losing half of his or her excess weight. For most patients, much of the weight loss occurs within the first year, when usually a meal of half a sandwich fills them up. We separate the stomach into a pouch at the top that's about as big as the end of my thumb. It's very small, a capacity of less than an ounce. Some 200,000 patients will undergo the gastric bypass procedure this year, a 50% increase in just two years. Surgical candidates usually have other medical conditions caused or made worse by obesity. Obesity uh, carries along with it a lot of different medical problems such as diabetes, hypertension, uh, heart disease, sleep apnea, and there have been recent studies which have shown that all those disease processes are alleviated or helped significantly um, after these types of surgery. Everyone wants to lose some weight and look better. That's our societal ideal. On another level, everyone wants to feel better. And you do feel better when you lose weight. But from a physician's point of view, I think the most important reason is to decrease the medical complications that go along with being overweight. Even with a 65% success rate, the operation carries risks because of the size and poor health of the patients. Still, doctors say that operating on obese patients is safer today than ever before. Any patient who is facing surgery and anesthesia today should be very confident that the anesthesiologist caring for them has been trained, is caring, and will watch over them very cautiously during their operation. According to the American Society of Anesthesiologists, recent efforts to improve patient safety, as well as advances in surgical and anesthetic techniques, are important reasons why weight loss surgery is becoming more accepted. Physicians and patients hope the number of insurance companies covering the procedure will continue to grow. I'm Bob Hill. Your surgery's all done, you're in the recovery room, everything went great. Okay? Okay, great.